Hey boys, I hope y'all are having a great day, Angus Prime Day. I'm gonna take y'all through what I eat in a day on a grain fed, corn stuffed feedlot diet. Starting with my favorite meal breakfast. Ooh -wee. Oh, uh, howdy there. Uh, so I like my bacon from pigs that have been scrunched together like a bunch of fairy boys in a prison shower. Uh, not that I know what that's like. Uh, you know that saying, uh, when you wrestle with a pig, you both get dirty, but the pig likes it. That's how I like my meat, nice and dirty. And the eggs have to be raised in a similar fashion. Chickens stack on top of each other, multiple on top of each other, and more importantly, as white as my boyfriend's pretty little, uh, uh, no, my, my girlfriend's, my girlfriend's pretty little, you know what. So we're gonna cook that hard healthy omega-6 in some aluminum to add some extra chemicals. Just how I like it. American made, easy peel to not hurt my Dainy cowboy fingers. The boys are usually tired after a long night at Ram Ranch, so this is a, a nice, easy way of preparing our bacon. With your eggs, make sure y'all use grade A pearly white butter from our loved ones in Kansas. And for that linoleic acid cholesterol oxidation, make sure y'all crank that heat up real high. But most importantly, Share these lovely eggshells for later. I'll let you in on a little secret. We don't want to let this highly available nutrition go to waste. Oh, hey boys! I am so excited. The only thing I love more than feedlot meat like bacon is the cowboys at the feedlot. Oh, I mean, uh, the farm girls back down at the ranch. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, boy. Sometimes the estrogen and all that feedlot crap really knocks me out. Thankfully, I have a good old lifetime natural solution to our dilemma. Ooh, boy. Boys. After all of that naturally obtainable lifting, I could sure use a pick-me-up. Let's go to my favorite, McDonald's. What's going on, boys? Everyone's looking at me like I'm some sort of funny boy. Like I'm a weirdo. Have they never seen a cowboy before? Hi, how can I help you? Hi, is your beef grain fed? I'm sorry, what was the question? Is your beef grain fed? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what you're asking. It, what do y'all feed the cattle? Is the beef grain fed? Like they have grass fed beef and grain fed beef? Is it grass fed or grain fed? Um, I'm actually not too sure. I don't All right, that's fine. Can I just get a cheeseburger? Okay. And uh, what's the popular side dishes? Y'all have French fries? Yeah. Uh, what type of oil you fry those in? Um, give me one second. Just regular oil, man. Is it soybean oil? Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. That sounds good to me. I'll have a medium French fry. You got and, it. And can we make it? Can we make it two cheeseburgers? Okay. That sounds great. Thank you all. You got it. Six sixty nine next one, Joe. Love me some agrochemical waste products. Gotta support them American farmers. Oh, wee, boys! I'm excited, and as much as I would love to enjoy this back at the ranch, I just can't wait. Ooh, it's nice and yellow. Reminds me of that lovely corn. Soy! 
Y'all are making fun of me for wearing these overalls. But who's laughing now? Cause I have access to prime real estate. <sighs> oh, hey boys! Those natural juices really get me going. Let's visit our boys at Ram Ranch. <laughs> We at Cargill do not represent the personal activities of any of our employees. Mr. Frank Tofano can do whatever he pleases in his spare time, unaffiliated with our company, and our promotion of conventional feedlot animal products has had no impact whatsoever on altering his hormones to stimulate suggestive, inappropriate, non-familial behavior. Oh boys, that was one heck of a workout. Nice and sweaty, little smelly. No better way to get our energy back than to suck down a sloppy pink stike. Now, I ain't no flaming fairy boy, so I'm not afraid of a little fire. Ooh. Keep in mind, boys, when grilling on high heat, you don't want to char this meat because it'll degrade all that estrogenic atrazine. And if we do that, we won't be able to participate at Ram Ranch. Oh, hey, boys, I can't wait to chow down into this feedlot grade A. Angus prom ribeye steak. But before we do so, we can't let all that highly bioavailable calcium go to waste, boys. Make sure to put your eggshells on your steak. And uh, you know, some people talk about dairy, but uh, I personally think milk is for babies. And if you're in the good old USA, United States of America, you better not be talking about milk in my country, boy. We're from the Texas Cattlemen's Association. We eat beef. <sighs> oh, hey, boys, I'm exhausted. And man, do I need another pick-me-up? I've already maxed out my testosterone, I mean, my natural juice, but uh, I got another idea. We have a lot of agrochemical waste products that can be used for all sorts of applications. That's what I'm talking about. Now, some of y'all may be thinking, Frankie boy, you have way too much hair to be a balder boy. And you're absolutely right. In order to preserve my youthful hairline, I declare this carnivore day of eating concluded. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your grade A Angus Prime days.